guys, so today I am here to do another review, a review. <laughs> I haven't filmed in forever, so this is gonna be a long one. <laughs> so today I'm gonna review another sponge after doing the Kabuki tulip sponge that was just worst thing in my life ever. I recently found out about the makeup bullet and this is, it looks like a finger blender. Instead of a beauty blender, we're now facing the finger blender. And I know this has been out for a while and I know that Tati did a video on it and I, I didn't watch that video because actually I didn't watch any videos reviewing this because I wanted to go in blank. I wanted to go in without any judgment <laughs> because in my mind, this could be like a far, far cousin from the Tulip Kabuki sponge and I, I never want that again. So I purposely ignored reviews on this. I know this has been out for a while. I'm definitely not the first to review this, but I just really wanted to get my two cents on this. I really wanted to try this for myself so <laughs> All right, so let's read what the packaging has to tell us. The Makeup Bullet, a high def cosmetics finger sponge, apply flawless makeup fast. It is hypoallergenic, it is latex free, it is washable and reusable. Warning, your other makeup tools will be jealous when you transform your finger into the perfect cosmetics applicator, blender, and smudger. Speed up your makeup routine with the most user-friendly cosmetic sponge on the market. We'll see about that. It fits snugly on the finger for absolute control. It flawlessly blends on every part of the face. It frees hands to hold other stuff as well. And it's soft and gentle on the skin. Created by an Emmy Award, wow. Oh wow, created by an Emmy Award winning celebrity makeup artist. Well, who? Don't give me the cliffhanger, who? All right, so I bought this little package that has three of them. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put this to the test. Let's see if this works. All right, so it just made one damp. This is what the difference is like when one is damp and one is dry. Just like a beauty blender or any other makeup sponge, when you make them wet and you rinse out the excessive amounts of water, you are left with a bigger sister. So this is how big it's gonna get for you. You know, we got no deceiving pictures here. This is what you're gonna get. So I am, oh my God, oh my God. I have done my brows and the top of my eyes to just get myself looking a little bit better. So before I go in with the finger blender, I'm gonna prep my skin a little bit because mama, I'm dry. So what I'm gonna use is the Urban Decay B6 Vitamin Infused Prep Priming Spray. Let's just, okay. Uh. Now some e.l.f. Prep and Hydrate Balm. This stuff, if you have severely dry skin like I do, this stuff is heaven sent. Beautiful. Okay, the time has come for me to slip this on. Remember to wrap it up, kids. Okay, first, first impressions. I definitely expected it to be a little bit more snug. I expected it to like hug my finger a little bit more. It's kind of like I can, I can take this off without any effort. So I'm hoping that it stays. Now I'm gonna go into my foundation. Today I'm gonna use one of my all time favorites, the Lancome Tint Idol Ultra. Let's let's get some French up in here. Ultra 24 hour makeup foundation. I am in the color. I am in the color 100 Ivory Neutral, and this is beautiful. It's it's beautiful. And basically what I'm gonna do is pick up the foundation with the finger blender, and just hope and pray that it's a success. Like for once, can I review a successful product in my life? Dip, dip, yummy. Okay, here we go. Tapping the foundation into my skin. I'm already noticing that I have to kind of keep the sponge down using my thumb and my middle finger because else it's gonna go places that we don't want it to go. I mean, so far it's looking beautiful. All right, let's get right up underneath that eye without messing up anything. Oh my gosh, is this finally gonna be a successful thing? Ah! 
Okay, I'm gonna pick up some more for my other side and just I'm gonna start tapping. The texture of the sponge is, what can I compare it to? It's definitely not a condom. It's definitely not a balloon. It's definitely not a bell pepper. It's definitely not a tampon. I've been seeing the craziest stuff lately. <laughs> the texture is reminding me of a more flimsy, less expensive version of the beauty blender. You know how the Morphe sponges are ultra smooth. The Sigma sponge has a little bit more texture to it. And like the beauty blender is like right in between it all. I feel like texture wise it is damn near like the beauty blender, but you feel that it's a little bit more cheap. Do you know what I mean? And it's not to like hate on the product, but you can feel that the texture and like the quality of the sponge itself is a little bit more cheap and flexible. Now I will say this is blending in my foundation gorgeously. The only problem I'm running into right now, I have fake nails and when I try to use the tip, when I put pressure on the tip right here, my fake nail kind of pushes through and I feel like a, a, a little soft sharpness in the distance and it's like doing things to me. Now this is where for me it gets tricky anyways when I have done my eye makeup before foundation how people do it I will never understand but how they reach the forehead without messing up their perfectly done brows magic. So I'm gonna try Now I think one of the questions you guys will have is if it eats up foundation, like if you if it like if it eats up foundation more than a regular beauty blender would or whatever. A a tiny little bit, like it is soaking up the product a tiny bit more, but nothing where I'm like, oh my god. I need a refund because you ate all my foundation money. I'm really liking this actually. So the sponge has dried a little bit with all the foundation. So I'm gonna reactivate it a little bit with Evian spray. And now it's time for concealer. I'm, I'm not even gonna talk about which one I use anymore because <laughs> every guru is using this and like we know it by now. I'm going a little ham on the concealer today. I'm thinking about this other technique where as opposed to sliding it onto your finger, why not use it as an actual sponge? Let me see if that works. One of the things it's saying is that it speeds up your makeup routine with the most user-friendly cosmetic sponge on the market. I wouldn't say I'm necessarily really much faster than with a beauty blender because it's taken me a little bit to get that perfect smooth blend into the skin. So saying it's the fastest sponge out there, I don't agree. Now, am I having fun with this? Absolutely. <laughs> I would like to take this moment to apologize for all of you that clicked this video, hoping that I would feel badly. Um, trust me, I'm kind of with you. I expected this video to take a whole different route. But baby, I like this tour bus. I like where we're going. <laughs> Literally me, when I bought this sponge, this is never gonna work out. You're gonna look like a fool. It's gonna be the Tulip Kabuki sponge all over again. Okay, now we're gonna bake. So I'm gonna remove all the creases underneath and then go right in. Let me actually use another finger blender for that as opposed to this one. Okay, yeah, mm -hmm. Holy crap. It gets it on. And there we have it. I, I'm shook. I'm shook to my crusty ass feet. My mind is blown right now. Like I expected this to go horribly wrong. Like tr trust me when I say I thought this was gonna be a nightmare. I'm living. All right, so I'm gonna go off camera and finish off my face and then I will be back to tell you my final verdict. Six hours later. And that guys is what my face looks like after I've done my powder, under eyes, contour, blush. I must say, I did not expect this, any of this to happen in today's video. I really thought it was gonna be one of those comical ones where everyone laughed at me and I felt great about myself. But I actually think 
this is really fun and I like really see that the product works now going back to the claims it made it definitely is not faster than a beauty blender it flawlessly blends I totally agree with that because I feel like my face looks really good right now overall I think this product works and I think the part I liked it most for is baking under the eyes. It just it just packed on that powder so effortlessly and so beautifully without it looking cakey or too much and it was like a nice even coverage. I loved it for powder. I loved it for I, I love it. So yeah, that concludes this review on the Makeup Bullet Finger Sponge, the Finger Blender. Let me know in the comment section down below what you expected from this video and if you thought it was good. Have you tried any of these? If you've tried them, let me know what you thought of them. So as always, I want to thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you again so much for watching. I love you so much and I'm now going to phone home. Boobity 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 bye! <laughs>